Guys, welcome back to the Mary Boozers RC channel. Today, it's another episode of our RC 101. We're gonna be talking about the S120 charger. This comes in a lot of your bind and fly, or not bind and fly, but your ready to fly kits from Horizon Hobby right now. Um, and we're gonna go over a couple little accessories that I do recommend if you're getting one of these ready to fly kits that are gonna come with this. But I wanna show you how to use it, what all the lights mean on it, and how you do it. So momentarily, we will be back down on the bench to see this. All right, guys, down here on the bench, we have our S120 smart charger. We also have a 3S 2200 smart battery setting off to the side. So the, bat the charger will come with this white extension lead. It's a USB port. It does not come with a USB charger. So you will have to provide that yourself. I just have an old iPhone one set in here for the sake of the video. So let's go on and plug in our smart charger. And you see that we get the solid white light. This tells us the charger is on, nothing is plugged into it, nothing is charging. Um, we're gonna go over a couple different uh, battery indicators on this charger. So, like I said, as it sets right now, we're just on the standard setting. One quick note, if you have a standard LiPo from any other brand, it will not work with this charger. It has to be a smart battery with this charger, okay guys? So, let's plug our battery in and see what happens, huh? So you plug this lead in right here, then your balance lead goes negative, which is the black wire, towards the inside. I'll hold this up so you can see that a little better here in a second. But as you can see, the orange wire is on this side, the black wire is all the way to this side of the charger. We can now see that our charge indicator has turned to a purple blinking LED. So a purple single flashing, so it's you know one, two, three as it is right now, means that the battery is less than 25% but is charging. As it goes through the charging process, We'll cut in the shots as it goes, but it's gonna to change to a double flashing, which means 25 to 75%. And then it's gonna to go to a triple flashing, which means 76 to 99%. Finally, it'll turn to solid green, and that's when we'll come back to you guys. All right, guys, so our battery has finished charging, indicated by our green light. So now we can just unplug it. Doesn't matter what order you unplug it from it. Our light will turn back to solid white, meaning that it is done with the charging. Now, an optional part you can get is a Spectrum Smart Checker. Excuse me, I had it upside down. A Smart Checker like this. So with the Smart Checker, we can go in and check our charging by plugging it in. It's gonna come up. And there it is, 100%. There it is, so now you can read it. So, uh, you can see 4.2, 4.1, 9, 4.2, they're all within a couple millivolts of each other. 100% charged though. Uh, you can also set your auto discharge from this. We're gonna have another series just on this, but this is an additional item that you can definitely get to go in the hand with your S120 charger. A um, couple other things I wanted to talk about is the way you charge, depending on the type of USB you have, depends on how long it's going to take to charge. So if you have a blue USB 2.0, you can put out to 2 amps to your battery. With this, you're limited to however many amps you can push through this. So with this charger charging this 2200 milliamp battery, it's going to take you like six hours to charge this battery. Whereas if you had a 2.0 charger, you're looking at like an hour. So you definitely want to try and get the blue USB 2.0 uh, adapter for this. Uh, I know I said it earlier in this video, but just to show you what happens if you do, if you ever run into this where you're like, ah, oh, my battery doesn't charge, if you take a competitor's LiPo that is not smart capable, and you plug it in, just like that, nothing's gonna happen. It will not work 
if it is not a smart battery. The indicator won't even change. The other thing I want to talk about is say you get this with the Habu STS. If you did and you want to go to 4S batteries, you're going to have to get a different charger. This is only capable up to 3S LiPos. If you do want to charge 4S, you're going to need to upgrade at least to the S150. Now we're going to do its own video just for this charger, but for now we're talking about the S120. But like I said, if you want to do 4S batteries, you're going to need to upgrade. Um, the only other thing I could think to think of, if you ever get a red light, that means that there is an abnormal charging issue. Unhook your battery, there's something wrong. Um, whether you have a dead cell, whatever. Red is dead on this charger. That means you've got a bad battery. So, I believe that's everything to do with this. Let's wrap this up and on to the next one. All right, guys, so that wraps up the S120 Smart Charger. This comes in a lot of the ready-to-fly kits. Like I said, I just wanted to do a quick overview on it. Uh, keep checking back to the channel. We're going to be doing a lot of these Spectrum Smart Chargers and Smart Checkers and just kind of showing you around all this new smart system of radio equipment available from Horizon Hobby and Spectrum. It's got some great stuff, guys. So. Like I said, if you're new to RC, this is going to be your how-to 101 of how to get into this and how to work all this equipment. Keep checking back for more videos. As always, if you've decided to get any of the product in this video, the links are down in the description. We are Horizon Hobby Affiliates. We would love it if you bought it through our links because it helps support the channel. And uh, as always, get out there and fly with your friends. So we'll see y'all in the next episode. Bye.